Welcome to Sound Music Business, I'm Anthea Palmer. Simple things obviously excite me because I was reading an article this morning by another woman in the music industry and it was on the steps to success for a musician. And I was reading it, there was a lot of really good information in it, but it did make it so complicated. And I thought there must be a way to get this same message across to you without so much complication. And so I came up with the simple success circle. All right, do you like that? Simple success circle. And there were only three steps in this circle or what I'm now calling rules. There's three rules. Now, obviously there's a whole lot of stuff around these three rules that happens when you're successful, as you become successful and to be successful. But if you break it down to its core, these I think are the three rules. So the first rule to this simple circle of success, is that what I said? I think so. Is one, to get fans, right? To attract fans, to get fans. I prefer that they're on your email list so that they've gone to your website, so that you've got your own platform, something that you have control over. I think you should be growing your email list above all things, and I do, I know I harp on about that. Um, but also Facebook likes, Twitter followers, blog readers, so you might have a blog on Tumblr or one of the other platforms. You've got to be out there actively attracting people to you by putting out content, all right? So that's the first thing you need to do. Also, also from your gigs, and I see bands at gigs all the time, and they're just not maximizing the, the fan base, how they could be getting people on their list at the gigs. So yes, that's rule one, get people to like you, follow you, email you, join you, whatever. The second rule is to nurture that list, right? There's no point getting people on your list or to like you or to follow you if you're not giving to them, if you're not building a relationship with them. And the reason for that is people need to like and trust you before they want to buy from you. They don't want to be sold to. They want to like you and they want to be part of you and therefore when the time is right and you've got product to release, they will buy. So that's what you need. You need to nurture those relationships. Don't be buying likes and, and followers. And I know I've said that before too, but they're not going to really care about you. You want people of quality following you. Pretty much every musician that I work with, coach, speak with, says that success to them is being able to earn a comfortable living through their own music. All right, Generally that's what it came, comes down to. So to do that, you need to trade your product for your fans' money. Simple, okay? It's quite an easy equation. So to do that, you have to have product. And I do mean tangible and intangible. So include performance in that product suite. But I want you to think about how much product you have to sell. The product that you have, do you have enough quantity to sell? Um, do you have a range of products to sell? Don't just have CDs, have t-shirts, pre-sell tickets to your gigs. Make sure you've got a little suite of products because that's what it boils down to. It boils down to you being paid for producing music, creating product. So yes, it is a simple, simple equation. Get the fans, nurture the fans, have product to sell them. Because it's very simple. If you want money for your music, you have to trade something for it. So those three things are really all you need to crack to be successful in the music industry. It's the simple circle of success or something like that. Probably those three words in some significant order. Now to qualify what I'm saying, I am putting a little article together. Uh, you'll be able to click on the blog attached to this video and get a copy of it in PDF form if you would like to read it. I think it's worthwhile. I think it's the sort of document it's good to have on hand because when you feel like it's all too overwhelming and it's getting too much and you don't know what to do next, hopefully if you read it being a very simple three-step plan, if you like, it will keep you on track and stop you from feeling so overwhelmed. I'm Anthea Palmer from Sound Music Business on wooden upward.